Good afternoon. Afternoon, late morning, whatever. Today, I am going to do a collection. Wait. I am going to do a plug hoop collection. And a big thing about me is I am very sensitive to fake and cheap metals. So even though I have a ton of piercings, they have to be a specific type of jewelry. I can't wear fashion jewelry and I can't wear fashion earrings. I would always try to kind of finagle my way into being able to wear those things. I would go to say Claire's or something and I would buy the little dangly earrings um, like this. This is like an old one and what I would do to try and wear them is I would separate the 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 French hook and keep the ring on it like this and then I would wear it as jewelry like this or I would put another ring on top and hang it off of oh, hang it off of say like this uh, CBI I would like hook it on or I would kind of use just like anything that I could to hang these off of my piercing jewelry and that worked for a bit, but it was just a struggle because of the little balls. You had to always unscrew it and screw it back in. And you know, if you have earrings, not to sleep in dangly ones. And because that was all I could do, like just t unscrewing the little bead, taking the thing out, screwing it back in, going to bed, waking up in the morning and doing it again was just tedious. So when I found out that I could put a fashion earring through my eyelid, my world had changed. When I discovered the hole was big enough, I went straight to Macy's because I don't have a Claire's by my house and I bought a pair of hoop earrings. Ever since then, I have pretty much scoured the internet for earrings that I really, really like so I could put them into my ear holes. Right now, I'm concentrating on hoops but in, I think, maybe like a few weeks or something, when summer's over and I'm not busy anymore, I'm actually going to go on a serious shopping trip to all those like mall stores like Claire's, Icing, um, Forever 21, Joyce Leslie, those stores, and buy a bunch of earrings so I can actually hook them on and I am so excited but for now let's see my plug hoop collection this pair are my first pair of hoop earrings I bought from Macy's they were just a regular fake pair and I wore them for a while but now I never wear them anymore because they're just too flimsy and plain for me so they just sit in the bag Never to be worn again. Pour them. This is my second pair that I bought also from Macy's of the same brand. I don't remember what the brand is, but it was, oh, it was Charter Club. And this actually didn't come with the earrings. This is from an Alex and Annie bracelet that I took apart and hung things on because I just like hanging things on other things. So there's that. These are my diamond quote unquote earrings. They are so cute. I love them. These are my feather earrings. I had seen a pair of something similar and probably much more high quality on Etsy. However, they were $60 a pair. So when I found these online for I think like 15 or something, I snatched them up. I'm a little disappointed because they're not actually that heavy and I do like my hoops to be extremely heavy. I don't like wearing weights, I like wearing hoops because weights are just too weird and heavy and oh, oh my god. These are my amazingly cool dream catcher hoops which I haven't worn yet because they're very long, the feather actually touches my shoulder when I wear it and these hang, these hang off of it and they make like a jingly jangly sound which also really annoys me. So I haven't worn these but they are so cute and I love them. These are my pentagram hoops and there was actually a seller on Etsy that I think it was called Made of Ash that had these but they were 
wrapped in leather, but when I went to go buy them, she didn't have them in the store, and when I saw these in another store, I snatched them up. These aren't actually leather, they're metal um, that have been coated with this black stuff, but I mean, it works just as well. I'm still going to buy the originals of both the feather ones and these ones one day, but for now, these are just fine. These are my lightning bolts. I can't even call them hoops, but they dangle and they're cute. They're very small though. These are my Muerta Skull, Sugar Skull, Day of the Dead um, earrings. I haven't worn them yet because I don't know what to wear them with, but they are super cute. These are my octopus ones. The octopus itself is pretty popular. You see it in necklaces and bracelets and stuff everywhere. But these are earrings, which I have never seen before, but since the octopus design, the same one, is already available, you can actually sort of match them, earrings and necklace and all that stuff. These are my very shiny scarab ones, which are the only ones that have jewels in them. If you can see, there's jewels in the eyes and jewels on top. I also haven't worn these yet because they are just too shiny, and I don't really know what to wear them with. And last, we have these crossed arrow earrings and these are another design like the octopus that are like really available in rings, bracelets, necklaces so this is another one that you can like match really easily if you want a full set of arrow stuff like I see this design everywhere this is one of my first pairs and I wear this the most often and they are super cute Okay, so that was it. That was my entire plug hoop collection. I am always on the lookout for more cool and interesting hoops or earrings to put through my tunnels or eyelets or plugs or whatever you want to call them. So if I see any more online or in stores, I'll be sure to buy it. And when my collection grows, I'll probably make another plug hoop or earring collection video if anyone is interested. I'm drooling. So yep, until next time, see you guys later. Bye!